Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the TVH Tuesday podcast. Um, sorry it's been so long. A lot of us had a bunch of shit that was going on. I'm mean, back into Destiny. Also working. Fucking tired. Um, and yeah, so we are back. We have some updates and we have a special guest with us today. Uh, first update is that we have Steven as a host now or as another co-host. So he will be on with us every time we make a TVH Tuesdays. So... Ooh, Steven, yeah. Woo. All right, so when we also have a special guest today um, with us, and her name is Yessie. Hello, Yessie, how are you doing? Go ahead and introduce yourself. Hello. Beautiful, 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 just beautiful. Is that, is that all you want to say? or? You wanna... Yeah. All right, sounds good. All right, then. So, uh, <laughs> so today... Um, well, first, how you guys doing? How's everyone doing? I'm just doing dandy. Nice. I'm doing all right. Doing all right. Tired, but I'm doing all right. That's good. I know you. That's good. That's good. Nice, Steven, I know your PC was on the fritz, as you'd say earlier. So how's that doing? How how you doing with that? <laughs> the way you quote it, like as I said. <laughs> yeah. Well, I watched the- <laughs> well, if, not, if if this is the third episode, and no one has checked out Steven's channel. Like, what the fuck are you doing here? Go, go, go! Watch his crap. It's better than mine. Um. Uh, yeah, because I watched the video, so I was like, e-. um, I'm glad that that shit's over with. Because goddamn, that shit was a headache. Um, even to us, because we're like, what the fuck's going on with your computer, bro? Yo, I know it was a freaking mission to get it all done and over with, but um, yeah, I appreciate y'all for helping me out with trying to fix it. I know we didn't get to, but um, at least it kind of narrowed some things down in some way. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Shout out to the boys at Geek Squad for taking all my money. <laughs> Hell yeah. I legit should have just bought another fucking PC, or I could have just bought another PC, dude. It cost about as much. How, how much dude, it, it seriously cost almost like a, as much as what I was planning to buy for a new PC. Oh, <laughs> I bought a new. I we bought. I bought a new motherboard. Um, I bought a new CPU. I bought a new. I bought the SSD, and now when you know we bought that in attempt to try to fix it, in, in hopes that that was the you know the culprit. And then we bought, I bought the fucking, what else did I buy? I bought the Wi-Fi adapter, and then I bought a graphics card on top of that, all of that. So all of that together was pretty close to $1,000, if not $1,000. And I bought the freaking Total Tech membership that's oh, yeah. from freaking Best Buy. Oh, <laughs> yeah, like, all oh, of that. To... <laughs> I know they fucking pulled my freaking dick. No, I'm just Dude, kidding. My leg. Like... Um, oh, oh, go ahead. My bad. I was, I was just gonna say like oh man when they called you and they're like uh, or when you, you were like yeah it's not working i was like oh fuck <laughs> i was like damn <laughs> you just wasted 200 dollars and they're probably just gonna be like yeah this that's a computer all right <laughs> did did you try unplugging it and plugging it back in <laughs> did you try putting it in rice <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah so um yeah after all that stuff and spending about a thousand dollars on it it it's working now Yep, it's uh, seemingly good to go. I've used it a couple of times, and um, yeah, I'm hoping it keeps trucking along and just stays living. Yeah. Oh well, uh, yeah. That also. Glad to hear that. That was uh, that was kind of also the one of the reasons we haven't uploaded in a while because we were trying to. Steve wanted to come on the podcast, and I wanted like you know the next episode to be kind of like a hey he's on the podcast now. Woo. So. Uh, it is <laughs> October, so I'll let that one slide, Joe. Alright. So, I, I, I appreciate <laughs> that. Little, the little spooks. Um, yeah, yeah those, those friends of yours are cool, huh? Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> they're sh- they sure are cool. It's like, I, it's like yeah, Jimmy and Terrence. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> no. uh, what about you, Eric? Anything? <laughs> Anything going on with July friend right now? Chilling. What's up, mate? <laughs> you're you're muted. Yep, you're, you're muted. Nah, I wasn't saying anything. Uh, I was just. I was like, <laughs> I was like oh, my ass. <laughs> Bullshit. He's like, <laughs> he got <laughs> muted. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. My, uh, fucking, fucking um. Uh, dude, I just had or 
just had a party today for my sister because we her birthday was Wednesday. Oh, yeah, but we usually do birthdays and stuff on weekends because that's when people have it off. So for sure. fucking I did like, all that. I was like, fuck. <laughs> I know you. You said you were gonna come and you didn't. So. I, well, I, how I was thinking about it's all good, man. It's all no, good, no, bro. It's so good. So I had that. Um, but I'm starting to feel a little sick. Sick oh, of no. you, Jeff? No, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> no, I'm just tired. It's just damn, bro. Like party, doing like parties and stuff is just so, like, it's kind of draining because you gotta figure out like everything, food, like how much food to get, um, cleaning, just. Oh. Fucking, huh? Like hosting, getting all the stuff. And... Yeah, serving food, you know. But I, I enjoyed though. It's been a while since we've had people over at the house, so um, it was pretty dope. I had fun. We played some games. Yeah, I think I lost the money. Yeah, they all they all came. Damn. Yeah, with their daughter. I should have came. Was um, you on Hector's profile then? Yeah, it's <laughs> <'cause>... <laughs> I texted him. I was like, "Hey, Hector, you gonna be there?" And then I. Like, no response, and all I see is Eric get on, and I'm like, oh, it's fucking Eric. <laughs> no, it's because I don't have FIFA, so I, whenever he comes, he brings his Xbox over, and I play on there. Because I'm, I'm not going to drop $60 on FIFA right now. I'm probably going to wait till um, the Black Friday. Black yeah. Friday deals and stuff. But, um, you know, God other than that, that oh, what was that? Oh, my bad. Go ahead. Yeah, nothing. Oh, that's not the asset, too. No, you said something important. Oh uh, yes, I did actually. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, God of War Ragnarok's coming out on uh, next month, like on the fourth or some shit, the ninth or something. Mm. But I might wait till Black Friday just to. Well, I don't know. If... They usually don't do deals on like newer games, right? Usually not. Yeah, they only usually do them on like the newer games, but the ones that they know are shitty already, like Call of Duty or like, <laughs> NBA or. Hell yeah! yeah. Gotta get them sales up, bro. Yeah, those ones that usually don't change much. If, if you pick up NBA 2K23, Steven, on Black Friday, I'll, I'll do it. I really want to get it now, but I saw the ratings for it the other day, and it was like two stars, oh, and I was like, oh, stars? No. Good, bro. It was bad. I mean, yeah, it was something low like that, and I was like, damn, that's really shitty, but watch me still end up getting it. Dude, have you ever read the comments <laughs> on the Xbox store, like on games and stuff? Yeah, it's they're ruthless on that. Bro. Oh, my God, I have a good laugh. They go for the throat. Uh, but, um, oh yeah, well, happy birthday to your sister, Eric. Yo, happy, happy birthday. birthday. She hit the big uh, 21. She, yeah, I know, she hit the big 21. Well, we, well, it's because um, we were trying to. We were like, yo, we're going to go to like, because the original plan was to go to a bar or to a bowling alley. You know how they usually have bars and stuff, and we were going to have like all the cousins and stuff and just have the... Um, like uh, like all of us have our first shot. Like everyone are of age. Yeah. Cause she's the last one. Um. Of like, like our family, I guess, to uh, be of age. Yeah. But um, she was um, she was getting litty with the friends like days prior, so she was like kind of like, all right, I'm over it. <laughs> she's breaking the law. So, yeah. So um. No, well, she turned 21, like, on Oh, like two days ago? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, um, um, so, but she eventually just settled in doing something here at the house, so that was cool. As far as you know. Drink, or she's only drinking because she's 21? What? Does she like to drink, or does she like, was she only drinking because it was her 21st birthday? Um... I don't know, actually. Well, I mean, when you turn 21, I guess you have to have, like, that first drink, you know? Yeah. But I don't know. I haven't known her to be, since she turned 21, I haven't known her to be a uh, drinker like that. Like you. No, I'm just kidding. Like, um, <laughs> like, you know, she's in college, and she goes to ASU. Like, I'm like, eh, are you, are you <laughs> Um, but yeah, um, yeah, she does go to ASU. It's known as like the party school of the country or something. I don't know if it still has that title, but yeah. Um, yeah, but that's it, bro. Waiting for the holidays, the cold weather. Mm. Hell 
It's nice. It is nice. Yeah. Senya? What, uh, what hmm? do you, uh, you have anything going on in your life right now? Anything you want to talk about? Mm, no. I'm just going to piggyback off of what you guys spoke about. Yeah, all right, I guess I have to do it to you. So, you didn't so, uh, do anything exciting? No, uh, no little concerts or anything? No, like, uh... Like concerts or things related I guess. To... It's like, I guess. maybe a concert? Maybe like a cable? I don't know what you guys are talking about. <laughs> oh! A concert includes <laughs> five, four women? I don't know how I don't know the number. It's five. Oh, five. Five women. Off the top of his head. The top of my head, five. So five. I said it first. <laughs> uh, yeah, you uh, so I, I guess I guess I will. You have fun. Yesterday, I have attended of the Etsy of concerts, and it was pretty interesting because it was my first girl group K-pop concert that I have attended by myself. Nice. Hell yeah! I should have Yo, listened. hell yeah! Uh, I don't listen to much K-pop, but yeah. unless I force it on you, but uh. Yeah, it was pretty. It started off pretty interesting because I have never been to any other concert than BTS themselves, the Great Kings. Um, yeah, so I didn't know what I was expecting. It was just more of like I was kind of basing it around them and how like I'm used to basically the long lines and having to be there legit at 9, 9 a.m. or 8 a.m. Just to be in line, just to get for merch. But now I made the mistake of going a little bit too early. And I made the mistake of buying a stupid parking ticket that was $15 when there was free public parking. And I was driving around for maybe even like an hour, hour and a half, just trying to find the stupid parking garage. Yeah. No one was there to direct me to where the garage was. I mean, pulled over to talk to a cop. He was no help. And then I just like randomly park in the garage. And yeah, and I ate my little salad. Went down to the venue. Saw there was no line for merch. Got my my two shirts. I got Steve in his shirt. Let's fucking go. Mm. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Back security. Mm. Back security. <laughs> yeah, so I'm like, you know what? I ain't gonna stand here and there's no line. Let me just go back into my car. Watch some um, evil lives here. While I eat my little salad and go. Saw people yeah. already in line. <laughs> you watched Evil Lives here while you were waiting for it. Because <laughs> the... yeah, there was, okay, so yeah, I was already so angry and I haven't eaten all day and it was already like two o'clock. So I'm like, I'm not going to sit down there and sit on the floor. So I'm you know, you know, walking just, it was right across the venue, like, like legit. I go from the venue, so I'm just like, let me just go eat in my car when no one can disturb me. And I have somewhere to sit. So I just put my little Discovery Plus, and I'll just eat my salad very happily. Ah, so my you, water. Pulled, you pulled the Jeff, eh? <laughs> <laughs> it was not fun, okay? I did not like eating in my car because my car is tiny. So it's just like there's really nowhere I can like sit certain things. So I can't eat comfortably in my car. But, you know, it's a salad is, is going to get as comfortable as it's going to get in my car. So oh, I ate there for like... It was, it was a good salad. I basically licked the bowl. So I saw maybe around like 3 o'clock. I saw people, there was some movement because I can literally see the lines, like the venue right where I was sitting with my car. And I'm like, why is everybody lining up? So I'm like, oh, I might as well just go down and start lining up too. So, just around 3.30, that's when the line started for me. I was basically in the front, kind of. And, yeah. Let's see. I was like, I had, I had a thought. I had a thought. Was <laughs> but if you guys haven't seen, I'll probably put like a little like clip in here or something. But there's, a, there's a clip in a panel where the guys have the same idea where they're doing the podcast. And then Cleveland starts talking. <laughs> Like I, I haven't seen the I was I don't remember the whole thing but it just reminded me of this. It's funny. I don't know. Anyway, sorry. Go continue. It's 
So you just lined up, right? It was like 3.30 when the line was forming, I think, was where you left off? Yeah, so I started lining up at 3.30, you know. I was just watching all the people and, you know. I know there was this little girl. She kept on talking to the people behind her, behind me. And it was kind of funny listening to her conversation. Because they're like, oh, yeah, you know, talking like to a little kid. You know, those typical conversations. <laughs> And she's like, you know this person? You know this person? And you know this person said this and this? And they're just like, yeah. And um, then... Yeah. I guess I was just listening to their conversations, but I know that they went to Korea. Yeah. Woo. Oh yeah, I was standing there for a good... Maybe a good three hours. Basically. Damn. We're just standing the there. Well, if you think about it, like... <laughs> Dude, like the, the BTS concert, and uh, I think it's the one I went to with, uh, with my family was in Cali. Um, yes. They. Oh, five holy city. shit, dude. You know how long those people stayed in line for? Just for merch and to get in there and all that shit? It was like eight plus hours of standing in the line. Crazy. Dude, and then there imagine. was people who like couldn't get in, and they had suitcases. Like, fucking two huge suitcases full of merch like they just stood in line for that long to buy oh those are products. resellers bro they do anything for that shit that's i'm like dude that that's crazy man hey some of them were buying these albums and passing them out like jeffrey's cousin got a free album and like yo like that's an expensive album that's like a 50 dollar album you just got for free and i had to pay for mine so like that's not but, really bad compared, but it, that's still fuck. Like I wouldn't like, like this a BTS concert is way different from just like any other group. Well, Itzy is not. They're still kind of new. You can say like they're fourth gen. There's generations in K-pop. BTS is third, and you can say Itzy is fourth. Like Pokemon. Basically, what? yeah. Uh, <laughs> Like, it's a well-known one. I think second generation second is Gangnam Style with... Is it? Psy? Wait, what? <laughs> is that really? Gang so yeah, Gangnam Style is K-pop. Yeah, he's K-pop. Yeah. I never thought of it that way, but... No one knew he was K-pop until, like... Because nobody knew. Like, I didn't even know. Until, like, maybe a couple years. I'm like, oh. Like, he even has his own company, too. It's called P Nation. What? So... Yeah. yeah, so yeah, he is K-pop. That John, the songs that he sung are K-pop. Mm -hmm. But I couldn't, like, I didn't know what to expect because I've never been to a K-pop concert for a girl and at their popularity. So I wasn't, I didn't know what I was expecting. As for BTS, BTS is top tier, right? Number one, always. So when I got there, I think I was a little bit too early, but. At least I was able to get the merch. I was expecting a lot more merch. Like BTS had like blankets and photo cards and picket signs and little flags and all these shenanigans. As for them, they were just selling two versions of shirts, a sweatshirt, a light stick, and I think it was a ring and batteries. Yeah, That's all they were selling. They're small, so, or like newer, like you said. So, yeah, they have just the basic stuff. It makes sense. So, yeah, so I was I was in a good place in line. It was a little boring because, you know, it was just me. I wanted to talk to people around me, but there was no one to talk to because the people in front of me were a mom and a daughter, and the people behind me were just like, they were talking to the people behind them. So I was just kind of <laughs> standing there awkwardly. So maybe around 6 o'clock, 5.30, they start bringing in the VIP people, which yeah. like consists of mostly like groups of men, which I was kind of interested in because it was kind of it's kind of weird. Bro, and what fascinated me is that I saw this old like, this old couple too. It was so cute because you could tell she was the K-pop fan, and her husband was just like there to support. It was cute. So cute. That's you know that's, that's so cute. You know and that that's a that's a yeah. <laughs> but like, uh, 
sorry, I don't mean to rush you. We already at the twenty minute mark, but I do have to ask, like overall experience. How was it? Because I want to get into the subject of the of the topic today. But overall experience, you think it was better than BTS? Well, I was gonna get to the part where I wasn't supposed to go in, and they had to scat me out. Oh, okay, go ahead. Go ahead and finish it. Yeah. So VIP goes in. Um, they they cut our line in half, so they weren't supposed to bring us in because we were general people. So they let a few of us general people in after the VIP, but we weren't supposed to. So once I went in and realized that I wasn't supposed to be in there, like I got out and they're like, um, yeah, you can't be in here. I have to scan you out and you have to go wait outside until 6, 630. I'm and like, damn, oh, great. Damn. <laughs> they, they kicked you out. I mean, it was did all you, other people too. My bad. No, because it was their fault. Because it was so unorganized. It, I guess overall experience-wise, it could have been way different. Like, it could have been way better organized because the lines were confusing. Until like the very end when the lines got really long, they were telling people, okay, the right side is VIP and, right, and the other side is this. Mm. And then people who were buying merch, okay, it was like hidden away. So mm. the VIP and the regular line were blocking it. So a lot of people were confused and discouraged to buy merch because they thought the big line was for the merch, but there was like no line. So it was just, it could have been handled very well. It was very confusing. And then they have the, they were like yelling at us too. Dang. And I, I just didn't like that. It was just horrible. But once I got in, it was nice. A lot of people were sitting next to me that weren't supposed to sit next to me because the people weren't helping people find their seats. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people were like, oh, they, I'm like, the people that sat next to me were like, this is not your right section. Not to me, but they had the wrong sections. And this happened maybe like four times. The whole time mm -hmm. I was sitting there. So yeah, overall it was okay. The performance overall was amazing. Their personalities, like each and one of them, if you, you saw them, and how they reacted to us, and how it felt a little bit more personal because they would take out their earpieces and you know, <laughs> they would just like listen to us and chant with us because we'll chant their names and I guess someone started the barking. <laughs> So we'll chant their name, whoever the camera was on, and go woo, 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 woo. And they were like surprised and like confused. Yeah. Uh, can you do it again? How'd it go? <laughs> no, I'm not going to do it again. <laughs> uh, but they were so confused. And they're, one of them's like, is this a trend here in Phoenix? Or is this a trend going around? She Then then every time we do it, they'll like start doing it too. So they're like, woo, 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 woo. So it was just, it was really cute, and they were just beautiful, even more beautiful in person, and it was amazing, other than the girl in front of me waving her hand, basically in my face. And then some girl also spilled water on my shoes. Oh, well, that sounds like something a bad time. Um, oh, yeah. But, you know, um, just my little segment here, like, they, Korean pop, like, music, music uh, concerts? They're pretty. They're pretty like visually impressive. Like they do a lot. Um, I was gonna, and yeah. I, and I feel like they like those performers are more like, hey, hey, crowd, what's going on? You know, like we're gonna talk to you. And I feel like American, like like more American, like uh, performers are just like, we're here. All right, see you later. Like we're done. Um, except for Kid Cudi, that's like the only other concert I went to. Like an American concert, where he's like, "Oh yo, like fuck it, we'll just stay online or we'll we'll keep performing." But then they're um, like, "Play that little ditty," and then yeah, they leave. Play that little ditty, and I start dancing like Goofy from fucking Mickey Mouse. <laughs> the fucking hot dog, hot dog. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, that's awesome. You're saying I'm glad you had it. Well, at least hopefully they you're listening. I'm to glad you had a good time, mate. Yeah, yeah. same here. Shout I'm out to my fellow Mitzies. Yo, I did that. I'm glad it was Shout out that. Shout out to that. <laughs> um, yeah. And you know, once you know it, that's just a perfect segue, Yesenia, into the topic of today's conversation. So, um, we're going to do things a little bit differently here today. Because um, Eric was supposed to fucking host, and he was like, 
<laughs> you didn't have to call so, them out like that. Oh, I'm going to call them out. They, the listeners deserve to know. So this is a topic that I just came up with and what we're going to do right now. So it's a uh, it's spooky season, guys. It's spooky, scary out there. Halloween's tomorrow. I, I mean, Halloween is a date in the future that we do not know yet. Um, it's pretty scary. I, I, I get scared pretty easily. I'm what? Ghost. I, 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 I'm afraid of ghosts, mate. I'm afraid of little ghosts. Yeah, you're afraid of everything. I'm afraid of little monsters. So what I want you guys to do today for this topic today Put in the is, comments. is I'm going to give you guys a minute. And you guys are going to search for the scariest no. or funniest story you could find. And you guys will tell it to me. And I will choose the best story. And we're going to have five rounds of this. Five rounds? Uh, what the hell? It's like, it's 11, bro. Like right, Four rounds. It's going to be easy. You guys got a minute. Uh... Three. Three. Take what it. is it? What, what are this? Okay, the, what are you, what's even the criteria of this? Like, Just, what are you uh, judging scary. on? Does it have it, to it be funny? It doesn't matter. It could be funny, scary. It could be scary, scary. It could be real. It could be made up. It doesn't matter. I'm just gonna choose the best one that I that I like. Okay, I'll go first. Everybody have I one. I feel like there's gonna be bias here. Yeah. So you're meaning uh, no, like just scary no stories bias. that we did, that we personally experienced. <sighs> It doesn't have to be personal. You can Google a story. Google something that's oh, real. Okay. Make up. You can make up a story if you want to on the top of your head. Um, or you can Google one. It doesn't have to be real. It doesn't have to be like too scary. It could be funny scary. Mm. Just, I'm, just, I'm choosing on the which story I like the best. Kind of like Cards Against okay. Humanity. I got one. Okay, go ahead. Okay. <laughs> All right. Where's yours? What do you guys want? Do you guys want the minute to look up a story, or are you guys good? I mean, they can look it up while I'm talking, so. Yeah. Okay. Yes. All right, yes, go ahead. Did you know the story of the Mothman in Mexico, where my dad's from? (laughs) (laughs) Okay. The Mothman. Yeah. So, at my grandmama's house, it's a street that's legit. So it's like horizontally, and then you have a street on the left and a street on the right. There's only two houses. Well, technically three, but one the one on our right side is abandoned, and it's just kind of chill in there for fun. And we have one neighbor. So on the right side is the church, like straight on, like the face of the church. But on the left side, there's this little alleyway. So it's like... There's like a big metal gate that leads into like this little cornfield. But I've never seen it open. But in that little alleyway, it's kind of kind of dark. You know, there's the rock, rock road. And then you have your couple trees. Also in front of us, there's like a school. So that's kind of also an entryway to the school. But it's like completely dark down that road. And there's only one little, little lamppost. That's like where the intersection of the you know our street to the house and you know the alleyway so what i've been told from my mima is that at night and i think my uncle said too that sometimes you will see the mothman pop up out of nowhere and he'll just be chilling there wanting to eat your clothes and he just kind of he just kind of show up there so i just never went into that alleyway at night, because I was just scared. Of a moth, a moth man. man's gonna eat your clothes, he said. <laughs> <laughs> no, I added, I added that part, but oh, you could. Because, <laughs> you know, I don't know what the Mothman is, does, but I know that they always tell me that the Mothman is just kind of like shows up there, and people have seen him. The Mothman. I'm gonna look this up. The moth- oh, yeah. Story? <laughs> but you know how, like, moth eat your clothes yeah <laughs> so that's why i just added the part for the lols oh look there's a there's a but, wikipedia page of the mothman yeah i didn't know mothman was a, i didn't know was, was a spread thing. over there to mexico as well poor oh, wait. Uh, I, heard that. I don't know where they come that came up with that but it, it is dark and it is kind of scary because like i said there's only one lamppost that's there mm. and 
the only time I see people go in the alleyway is when like they're driving or when men have to go pee because it's dark <laughs> to pee by the trees. Uh, Eric, you but, said that you've heard this someplace as well. <clears throat> yeah, where did you hear this? I, I know it's I know it's a, the Mothman's a big thing in another state. Um, North Carolina. Yeah, they even have like a town, like a statue and stuff of them. What that's the crazy. fuck? A Mothman? Yeah, that's an actual yeah. thing. Yeah. That is People weird. say they see them and stuff in the woods. The Mothman. And the Blair Witch looking ass. I was about to say, like, it sounds it's like crazy. some fucking... It's, there's a Wikipedia page about it. Yo, I used to be scared of that movie. That movie was scary, bro. When I first saw it on VHS. The Blair Witch what? Project. Witch? Yeah. Damn, that's crazy. Uh, yeah, Senya, that was a good story. That was a good story, and what I find most interesting about it is that it's actually real, or there's a real thing about it. Yeah. I think that's some bonus points right there for just for it being real. I probably came out of that, that alleyway too. Um, <laughs> bonus, bonus favorite points. That's that's pretty. That's, that that first of all for having that story on the spot. I don't know how or why you have that in your head, but and I looked at oh, and it's a Wikipedia page and stuff. But what does he do? Because I've always I've only been told that he just kind of lurks there. For some reason, but I mean, I haven't seen anything for the years I have been visiting Mexico, and I'm like, I've not seen anything other than being attacked by moths by actual moths. But hmm. no, those are the real monsters. I'm reading, I'm reading, I'm reading, I'm reading. How threatening can a mothman be? Because all they do is eat fabric and die in light. Well, I think it's just the unsettling part of like a creature like that being out. Yeah, that's. Yeah. Well, he's like, mm-hmm. I it's like I don't think it like does anything, or maybe it does. Could you imagine seeing like I think they're seeing like what like six foot something? Like it's said, tall. What I'm imagining man. him. All right. Thank you. What well, it's <laughs> what I imagine him like for some reason I imagine him like a fly like you know how they have the little. You know how, like, that, for Mario, that pink, like, counterpart to Yoshi? I'm gonna send in the Discord of what, what they think it looks like. What they think it looks like. But I imagine just looking, like, half fly and having, like, hairy legs with, like, shoes. Like, I don't know where I got this picture. I feel like it's, like, on, comes out, like, on Courage the Cowardly Dog kind of thing. They said <laughs> that it's a large flying man, about ten foot tall, with wings. 10 feet tall, damn. Yes, 10 foot. Um, <laughs> Alright, well, Senya, that was a good story. I liked how it actually led to like some, uh, not only side conversations, but like I said before, the Wikipedia page. So I'm going to give you some bonus favorite points there. Good story, good story. And for going first. Alright, does anyone need a minute to find an article or a story that they, it could be a personal story, like a Senya's, yeah. don't matter. Go ahead, Eric. The tale of the haunted me. All right, here's a two-sentence horror story. Right, there was a picture in my phone of me sleeping. I live alone. Hmm. There's a picture of me of you sleeping. I live alone. Yes, sir. You imagine that? You ever hear about the things? Um, it's well, there you send it. Um, I think your Xbox turned off. Yeah, I didn't see what you're saying. Oh. You alright, you're seeing ya? Oh, and just to clarify, it's two sentences. Expound on it. If you can expound on it and it can lead to side conversations, I would on it. I would award you more favorite points. Elaborate. If you can if you can create or like get us into a side conversation about talking about something actually real or that subject, it'll give the more the more you go, the more points you'll get, or the more I'll that's how I'll choose. Well, that comes into play, like, how people say sometimes, like, people who live, like, in the house that has, like, an attic and stuff, and oh, in the mornings, you know, that they say, like, oh, like, this cupboard was open, or, like, oh, shit, like, something was moved, and it's, like, someone living in your attic, but you don't know, oh, and, they only co- and, they, and they only come out, like, during the night. Dude, 
I when I Steven know. like mentioned that one time when he was like, I gotta check if there's something in the attic. I've been fucking paranoid of that shit ever since he said that. Like I did not like have a thought about it. I'm just like, oh yeah, like it's an attic. It's you know whatever. There's nothing up there. And he mentioned that like a couple times, and I was like, God damn, there could be someone living up there. Like yeah, I, dude, like, what it's the fuck fucking like? weird. Yeah, because I remember yeah. I remember I told you guys before about how when i used to live in my old house my mom's before and it was weird like we saw that the little cupboard thing that you know the entrance to the attic was moved a little or whatever oh, and we yeah. didn't know why the fuck it was so we were freaking out um we called the cops and then they ended up coming over and they were like oh yeah it might have been like because of the wind or what or like the ac like ventilation whatever oh yeah yeah, yeah mm-hmm. like kind of like pushed it up i guess a little bit um but they were like the weird thing was is that there was like a like a little like a blanket or like a sleeping bag kind of thing or something like that up there so it looked like somebody was oh, there, know, were, like staying good, up bro. there and <laughs> yo we were like what the fuck we never went up there and actually like confirmed like looked up there ourselves because fuck all that bullshit but um mm. But when they said that, we were like, well, I was like, all right, it's time to burn the house down. Let's go somewhere else. Um, but oh, yeah, that shit, that shit freaked me out when, when they said that. Um, yeah. Um, same shit over here when, or um, like I always had that or that I can't remember where it was. I think it was Moist Critical. He mentioned it in a video before. So Penguin Zio or whatever his uh his channel name but i always call him voice critical but i remember he made a video about something like that happening too where some dude fucking some weirdo freaking guy just was living up in some people's attic or not living there i think he was just he would just go there and just look and like you know spy on them and shit fucking weird stuff and they they like saw him one day or whatever and i was just and i think like the way that he got in there i can't oh, i can't even there was like some part of the wall that he had to like break open or something like that but at the same time i was like how the fuck did he even get up there i guess like did he just take a ladder and fucking put it there and then just went and like carved out a little section so he can go in <laughs> i was just like how the fuck would someone not notice that um, yeah. it was just a whole the concept of that even happening is just fucking weird and scary because and, and, and another thing is like didn't you like pre like uh when you're living with your mom, didn't you have actually someone like do that? <laughs> Wasn't there? What do you mean? Like, that? like someone was like, actually living in your attic? No, I don't think it was uh, actually confirmed that anybody was, but they said that it looked like somebody was. The cops did when they went up and looked in the attic to check. Oh yeah. shit! I think that's more scary than like. That's just that's just scary, bro. I think that's way yeah, more dude. scary than having like ghosts or shit. Like, cause it's like, dude, you can like. Like yeah, like ghosts will haunt you, and you know, they could probably get back or whatever. But like that, like there's someone could like in your house that can like potentially harm you. Or right, it's the thought of like not knowing if you're really alone and stuff. Like, yeah. like, like you know what I've always wanted to do, but I'm too I'm too scared to do it. Is um is leave my phone recording while I sleep. But I'm so fucking, like, I'm, I want to because I want to know because people say I snore fucking loud as shit when I sleep. <laughs> so I kind of want to confirm that, but I'm also kind of scared of, um, like, if I'm going to find, like, Dude, I think fucking that, some random fucking noises and shit when I sleep, I think that I'd, you know. I'd rather just, I, I'd rather just leave that be. I think <laughs> but I, I am kind of curious. Like, I would be, like, paranoid to sleep if I found yeah. something. Be like, dude, I, I can't sleep. Like, yeah. Well, for me, I'm kind of scared, but I'm kind of like, cause I'm used to like, um, where I live supposedly, you know, and I, I have felt shit in my house where I'm staying at currently, um, but and I've had an experience like that, like Stevens, where like cops had to be called. Well, not me personally. It was um my mom, and my sister. I think we're at home while I was with my dad. Um, working at a, the restaurant, but um, they called us because they called my dad because um, they thought they heard people. Because we have a gazebo in the back and we have chairs and table a table back there. And uh, my mom said she heard like um, somebody um, like moving the chairs and like just hanging out back there. And she got scared, so she called the cops. And 
I remember that she said that me and my sister went to hide in the closet. Um, and then when the cops came, they, you know, checked the house, they checked the park, because we have a, a back door that leads to the park, so um, she thought maybe someone had, like, snuck in there and just, like, slept back there. Mm -hmm. um, but, uh, yeah, we've had some pretty crazy experiences like that here at this house, but um, um, it would mostly only happen when, like, my dad was away, because my dad used to take trips to Mexico to do some, like, um, business over there. And um, it would only, that would only, like, whenever he would leave, it would just, like, make things happen. Like, it would heighten those things. But we as kids, we didn't really know um, that stuff was happening. But now as we're older and our, my parents are like, yo, do you remember this as a little kid? And we're like, yeah, it was because of this. So this happened. Or um, we would see, like, shadow people and stuff. Um, oh, hell no. But ever since we've had the house cleaned, we had like a a um, a priest come and like bless the house, and we've had um, them burn sage and stuff around. Um, nothing hasn't um, hasn't happened recently. I haven't heard any like weird noises. I used to hear at night, um, like in the like in two a.m. Like I would hear like little like like if someone was like crawling, like little crawling sound like up on the walls. And I would, at first I thought that was like my sister, because I would, like, my sister's room is like next to mine. So I would like knock on the, on the wall. And sometimes I would get like a little like faint, like a little knock, but I'd be like, oh, that's my sister. And then I would, I would talk to her about it in the morning and she wouldn't know what I was talking about because she was asleep. So I'd be like, oh. But, um, yeah, um. Holy shit. As of lately, I haven't had any experiences like that, but I used to. That's why I'm kind of like, um, I do believe in all that stuff because um, I've experienced it before, but um, I'm not so much scared. It's just, um, it's just more like um, I wish I knew what it was, like what whatever it is wanted because... Um, I know it's happened before because when my parents bought this house, the previous owners would be scared to um, go in, go back in. Because, um, like, the day they closed and my parents got the keys, um, the previous owners had come back to drop off the, I think it was the garage controller. Mm -hmm. And my parents would try to invite them back in, but they would not leave. They would not sit foot into the house. They would just be like, nah, we're good right here. And they would... Both they would only talk from the outside. Really? So, um, they yeah. Some shit was up, but they they know, knew right? some shit was up, but... That's always some um, shady crap that I'm always worried about. <laughs> yeah. Where I'm like, dude, when, when I move and I'm looking for a house that's pretty yeah. owned, you know? Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna ask them, like, straight up, or, like, I've asked the realtor dude, like, do you know if any shady shit's happened here, you know? Like, or if there's a, or is there a specific reason as to why these people are moving? Because yeah, history. I don't mm -hmm. trust these people because I don't trust somebody. Like, I don't know. It just freaks me out at the point of like, you know, people sell their properties for a reason, you know, you know, it could be any sort of reason. It could be like, you know, they need to move out of state or they could do this or whatever, but it could also be because they're like, I need to get the fuck out of here. This place is weird. <laughs> there's some crazy shit yeah. happening here. And then, you know, us thinking that any, everything's fine and it's just a new house and it looks cool, you know, we'll we'll move right on in and fucking hunker down and then some weird shit starts happening to us, God forbid. But I'm like, fuck that, dude. <laughs> like, I can't even smell that. Uh, yeah. I don't know. To be like, yo, like, you're selling this house. Yeah. Like, is it paranormal? Like, that should be a question, not even like a joke. It's right. Like, is this, like, do you have paranormal activity here? Because, uh, yeah. you know, like, I, I'm always on the teeter side of things because like i personally never had i mean i've had like i guess a night terror i guess you could say uh, come spend the night bro nah hell no you better <laughs> fuck that i ain't trying to look for it like if it happens it happens but i'm like i, I ain't trying to look for that shit but um that's why i'm kind of like on the teetering side because like my mom has had a shit ton of stuff happen to her which i'm surprised that i'm not like inclined to have something you know like happen to me but I don't think so now. that my mom like shares with me all the time, I'm like, 
like what the fuck like that's fucking crazy like pretty wild huh i'm glad that you know i don't experience it and you know if i do experience it it's just like you know i i get it i believe now like you're good like don't fucking come after me again i got my what i needed from you <laughs> like that's it bro i'm fucking that's it um so that shit's uh that's just fuck man that's crazy um good story you know a good story uh it was a short little 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 story to start off the t- uh, your topic but um i think you really made up for it in side conversations and um probably bonus points for your fucking you still living in that house you maniac with this lights off <laughs> Right. So you're not seeing, but I'm looking back constantly. <laughs> you're, you're, you're fucking... You know what? You've been to my house, right, Jeff? You know how I have that hallway? Yeah. That yeah, so room. I always would have, um, like, I have a fear, and sometimes I would even dream about, like, I don't know why, but it would always seem in my dreams, it would be like, I'm, I would go to, like, the bathroom, and my my family's hanging out in the living room and it would be dark. But I always had this fear of like, I don't know if you've ever seen like in the movies when like a hall, they do that hallway thing where it like stretches out and it makes oh, it look yeah. like, yeah. I always had the fear of that, like me being a little and like I'm, I'm walking to like the living room and the hallway would just go like, it would just like, like zoom in and I'd be walking, but I wouldn't be making progress. And I'd always have, and it, and it would always be like this shadow thing, like, like trying to get me. But I'd try to run, but I just I wouldn't get anywhere. Yeah, I, I, damn, bro, nah, you're good. <laughs> scary, bro. Um, it's a little spooky. Even to this day, actually, I don't sleep with the door open because I could see from my room straight to the 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 dining area, like the kitchen. Because um, I don't know, I just don't wanna see something stare back at me yeah, yeah, <laughs> so i sleep yeah. with the door closed okay, hell yeah. hell nah, bro. I just... that's why i sleep with it that's why i used to sleep with the door closed but i kind of used to a little like at least having the door cracked now so i said like yeah it's not that bad but uh, oh yeah it's not that bad i have the same I will, thing dude. like i, I grew I up not well. sleep with the clo- like unless i'm like dead tired and i'm just like f- like fuck it i'm i don't care i'm tired um i always like leave it like where there's like a little tiny crack and i'm like ah that's good i don't have to see anything out there <laughs> as long as i don't see it it's all good um but what if it's in the room with you already it's like jeffrey sees the door get pushed open i know uh, just a teensy bit <laughs> yeah that's why you sleep with the door open so <laughs> Well, I've always grown up bro, with my bro. door have been open like my mom's dad's door open my brother's room open my door open like even my room was in that like the hallway thing like i understand eric i don't dream about it but sometimes i'll be afraid of that the door being i mean the hallway because it would just like sometimes you're like you feel like you have to walk past because you feel like someone's chasing <laughs> yeah yeah but but i actually got more scared with the door closed than open hmm. right, i don't know why a maniac <laughs> I don't know why. I think it's more of a fear of like how if something happens, how the heck is some how the heck is somebody gonna get to me if it's locked and it's closed? That's my thought. It was, you know, in our household, just locked and closed doors was is not like a thing. Oh, I never locked it, but yeah, yeah I would just close. Jeffrey it. likes to lock close doors, it. and I'm just like, nah. How about if you fall and I can't get to you fast enough? <laughs> Or like me, I'm over here having a seizure and he can't get to me because the door is locked and closed. Well, I'm not going to lock it if I'm on the outside of the door. I only lock it if I'm, if I'm inside the room. Yeah, but I am, when I'm in my household, locked doors were never believed in. Especially how my brother was because he, when he will close the door when we'll go to the bathroom. When he, I mean, when he'll take the shower. I'll take a shower. I think when he was like in his teens, he'll lock it. And the things that sometimes he got a little bit too comfortable, and he would fall asleep in the shower, and God forbid that he would drown. How the hell do you fall? What? Asleep? I think that's. I think I, I, think I only because he would sit down. Like he would sit down in the bathtub while the shower is going. Because I mean, like I sit in the bathtub when I'm taking a shower. Uh, it's just sometimes that's what we do. And I guess 
you're tired of standing, you just sit in the bathtub, so I'm pretty sure he was letting the wa the hot water hit him, and, you know, it was already, it was already relaxing him, so I'm pretty sure that's why he fell asleep. Because my mom has had to go in there, like, open, unlock the door with, like, a knife to see if he's okay, because he wouldn't answer, and she will be like, your brother fell asleep in the shower. I'm That's so weird. Uh, I, I never heard of that. <laughs> yeah, see, why you say that as if it's like, as, as if it's like a normal thing. That's not normal. <laughs> Or at least to me, that's not. It wasn't happening all the time, but it has happened to the point where it's happened multiple one. times. Yeah, like that's so weird. Like, if you're taking a shower, like you're standing up. Like at no point in that shower time, like, am I sitting down? Yeah. I'm, sitting down. I'm, down I'm tired of standing. I'm sit down. I sit down in the shower, the walk-in shower that we have here. I sit down all on the right, floor. All right, all right. <laughs> Order in the courtroom here, my little chums. <laughs> Okay, uh, so Yesenia, for lazy Yesenia, people, Yesenia, we like Yesenia, to sit down in the shower. Yesenia, you get half a point for that little tidbit you got there. Eric, I gave you some points <laughs> for that story because, one, that shit um, is real. I know that you've been dealing with that, and you're in the house right now as you tell those stories in the dark, so you're a fucking maniac. You get points. All yeah. right. Steve, you guys want me got? to do a... Uh... All right, go ahead, Steven. I'll tell you a real scary story. Right. Uh, a, my life. Yes, and her family person. like to sit in showers. <laughs> I do. Ah, uh, yes, and yeah. You can't really bite it. I actually do like sitting in showers. Just take a bath. <laughs> if you're gonna no, I don't like sitting in dirty bath water. What do you think you're doing there? You're sitting in like the dirty. No, bath you know what like, I do? I sit in there for like maybe five, ten minutes, and then I drain it, and then I take a shower. <laughs> but then when there's days uh, where my legs are killing me, or or something, I'm gonna sit in the shower. I don't know. Senya, you get yes. another point because I think you're a monster. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, is that your story? <laughs> is that what you're really going with? Or no? Oh, yeah. No, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> I, can, uh, I honestly can't think of a whole lot. I guess I kind of already said one with Eric, um, or at least kind of going off of what Eric was talking about, or one of you guys was with the whole attic thing. I mean, it doesn't, um, it doesn't have to be a personal story, but it's whatever. Oh, well, yeah, it can be like, it can well, be like one thing people. I could say yeah. is the the one <laughs> when we were here at the house, you know, the whole that plate that just fucking went up and disappeared. And when we were like thinking like, oh, is there fucking something in the damn attic or something? Mm -hmm. um, because like Stephanie was like, yo, like this, it was here. I did the dishes. I put the stuff in the dishwasher. That was the last time I saw it. And it's gone. Like, it, or it was two plates, I think, that were just, mm. they just disappeared. Like, they're just fucking gone now. And we're just like, where the fuck did they go? Yeah. Like, no one was here. Like, what? You never solved that mystery. And yeah, and they were, we never found them. We've been here for four months. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, it, it's just weird. And that's why we got into the whole, like, debacle of, like, yo, let's go fucking check the attic. I went to go buy a freaking ladder to go look up there and all that jazz and you know and like we didn't see anything up there it was just a bunch of fucking dust um from what we were able to see but yeah it was just a weird thing and um yeah I, like ever since then i've been whenever we leave like yeah. normally what the fuck is wrong with you yes he fucking scared me <laughs> god damn sorry you get... that was not that was not on purpose you get another point for scaring the contestants <laughs> I may or may not be playing playing a game right now. Oh yeah, yes, he's oh, playing playing Overwatch and not focused in here. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I, I can multitask no, on like no, 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 no. We invite you onto this fucking wonderful podcast, and you disrespect us like this. What are you talking about? I'm listening to you. The more you interject, I was the more points I'm gonna deduct. Like that whole time we were like, it was like just me, Jeffrey, and Eric talking. And I was just like, I wonder when Yessie's going to say anything. I was going to say, like, and, uh, I, was, I didn't want to interrupt saw, anybody. And then I saw on Discord, she flipped to playing Overwatch. And I was like, okay, Yessie's, like, not even in this right oh, now. Oh, actually, no. <laughs> actually, that during the I just barely got back on. But because I, I, just, I physically have to be doing something, I just can't sit. But, uh, no, I was actually listening to the whole entire time. I just didn't want to jump in and cut anybody off, right, I'll, you know? I'll, I'll, I'll rule Fair. this as a warning. But the next time, no, you don't well, so I don't even trying to be nice. No, 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 no. You're not unacceptable, Yessie. 
my best and continue with the <laughs> oh no you're good um yeah uh just the whole thing with that stuff i don't know um we didn't like i said we didn't find anything in the attic or anything but i was gonna say normally when um uh, never mind i won't say that piece <laughs> uh i don't know i just felt like it was too not person not personal but um i guess kind of Okay. Um, no it's not anything bad or anything. I just don't want to give away like uh, like inside info into yeah, my okay. house or something like. like... And... <laughs> you cannot not like that, but like kind of like oh yeah, I do this or something. Um, I don't know. It's just weird with my doors and stuff. Um, uh, gotcha. yeah, but yeah. um, okay. Yeah, but yeah, pretty much like we we didn't find anything. Um, yeah, nothing really came about it from that. I mean, the plates are gone like fine you know we we get more we got <laughs> we got more and um yeah that's about it um uh, one other thing i guess i wanted to kind of bring up too is just the um i guess let's say if let's say in like apocalyptic kind of scenario i guess this has kind of been on my mind somewhat of late just kind of with not apocalypse i'd say but like like war kind of stuff you know like with the state of the world you know like tensions being high between like certain countries and stuff um mm -hmm. if some shit were to pop off you know and you know like our country was involved in said conflict then um all that crap would happen i know it's not like horror scary but it's still uh, a I, scary I, type of thing all yeah types of scary there's no, like, yeah. There's no reality scary. Like, monster yeah, just, just mm. it's, it's scary. Uh, all, all, all types of scary. Yeah, for sure. But yeah, just like thinking of stuff like that, like what if some shit popped off like that, and I don't know, like what would you do? What like I don't know, what would be the situation? Like where would you go? Like I don't know, like where would be, I guess like places where you would want to not be. I guess. Mm -hmm. um, are you talking like nuclear apocalyptic, or are you talking about kind like of if war was at our doorstep? Like, like how how I'm imagining it. Like, obviously, I know it's not for me for some reason. It's not current time, but I'm imagining like 1876. Like, fucking the French are at our doorstep. Like, the I don't know, but like you know, like the British are coming. The British are coming. <laughs> like, we're fucking home. Like, pick up your arms and you know, fight the fight or. Is it, or do you mean like like, a, like nuclear apocalyptic? Where it's like damn, like this. Kind of like that. That's more of like what I was thinking of. Just like, damn, how would um, that? Yeah. You know, I, ooh, that's a that's a that's a good one. That's a good uh, little question and um, little thing. Steven, that's a little too scary. You're making me think of reality it's, things now. It's a little too real. Because yeah, I mean, yeah. it can't happen. It can't. Yeah, that's, uh, that's another thing. It can happen. Anything can happen, but it's just like. Well. Nobody wants to think of that, but it could happen. Yeah. I just think we're fortunate to live in a country that's doing the, the, I guess not, I guess, I mean, we don't really have to worry about, like, kind of being bullied by another country. Yeah. Like, we like we're, we're somewhat safe from, like, people like in Ukraine who are, like, Going That's to get a life. coffee and then all of a sudden the freaking like missile lands next to them and later their lives, or um, it's I think that's what you're getting at, Stephen. Where it's like um, where you know when shit gets real and you have to actually like um, like think about even just like like in wartime if it hit and we would have to like ration food, they would start rationing materials. And, um, I mean, I guess it kind of felt that way during the pandemic because it's with the whole toilet paper debacle and, uh, yeah. people hoarding, yeah, people hoarding, um, like how was cleaning, about that. cleaning materials, disinfectants and stuff. Yeah. Like, um, it was crazy to walk into like Walmart and see like shelves just empty. And, um, even today, I think the Walmart by my house still hasn't really recovered because, Mm -hmm. it's still pretty like barren if you look at like um stuff even just like water bottled water stuff like that um yeah there's still some spots i see too in other stores where i'm just like damn this whole 
shelf is fucking empty. Like, yeah, it never, it never used to be like that. Yeah, <laughs> never the so. pandemic, and now it it's still kind of the same as when the pandemic was a thing, you know? Yeah, like yeah, like um, like seeing like the streets like empty, no one's driving. Like everyone's just home. With like, I think they said that. Um, I don't know if you guys are familiar with like the I think it's called the Doomsday Clock. Um, it's like a measure they use to see how close we are to, um, like, um, what is it like a, a uh, like a uh, um, a catastrophic event, I think, or something like that. Mm-hmm. But they said I remember it was so close. To um, because they measure in like, oh, it's like 100 seconds to midnight, 90 seconds to midnight, like that. That's how they measure it. Yeah, but mm-hmm. like, what's, what's the what's like how to like what kind of like is it like research based? Like is it like like here I'll read it. it. I'll read what it is. It says the doomsday clock is a symbol that represents the likelihood of a man-made global catastrophe. Um, it says. Um, members of the Bulletin of Atomic Scientists maintained since 1947, the clock is a metaphor for threats to humanity from unchecked scientific and technological advances. So it's um, basically like, um, if it hits midnight, it's pretty much like, um, pretty much like Cold War, pretty much. Mm-hmm. Um, like uh or not cold, but it's pretty much like, I don't know if you guys seen Terminator, um, Judgment Day. <laughs> it's pretty much like what, what it's based on. Um, but it's, it's wild, dude, to know that, um, and most people don't really pay attention to that. Like most people just go about their days, but, um, if you really think about it, um, pretty scary, pretty scary to know, like, Interesting. if, if it came to it, we would all be drafted. Well, um, we would all be. Well, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jeffrey's Break like, your legs, guys. <laughs> Break your knees. It's it's cool. Break your knees. Um, interesting spin on on that. I, I actually have. I'm going to go with the opposite direction of what um, I interpreted it a little bit differently. Um, I'm going to go with the more hi- hypothetical than like you know what could really happen uh, when because when you said nuclear, like it's more based like on a nuclear kind of thing i went my mind went to go like 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 how do i explain it? like fallout 4 like what what's gonna happen yeah. like, where would you be at so i'm gonna go based off that one and i'm gonna say like when you said that it kind of brought me like hmm like where would i want to be at like well um i would like to be I don't know. Actually, that's kind of hard to think about because it's like, you know, maybe some shit will survive. Maybe something. I mean, pretty sure nothing will, but... Um... <laughs> Are you talking about an yeah, atomic I... event? Like a... Yeah, like, uh, like nuclear, nuclear war or something like that. You, nuclear... You know, uh... my, my head always goes to it because, like, like, obviously it's like, oh, yeah, it's fake, obviously, but, like, for some reason, like, my head always goes to, like, that episode of Family Guy where that shit happens and they're like, computer's like oh like there's a twinkie factory that survived and we got <laughs> twinkies like, I, for some reason my brain's like yeah like you know what I, like it, it like i know it's like a joke or whatever but like maybe some shit like would survive like that but um but who knows how fast that shit would go and if it's even like gonna be edible or whatever but yeah um, <laughs> I mean, yeah like, like um like what I was saying to a question of like more so like the nuclear thing was kind of what I wanted to touch on too. But like, let's say if, you know, war like popped up on the doorstep kind of, you know, like, you know how they're like, they're in like the territory for Ukraine and shit like that. Like what if they were yeah, so in war like U S yeah. If they were in U S territory and stuff, where would you want to go? Like, where would you want to be at? Would you want to, leave your current spot of where you at where you're at currently cuz do you think it's a hot spot of where you know like war activity would be at like would you think like one 
well, a couple of spots that I would not want to be in were, would be Cali and then mm-hmm. in, in New York because those are two, like, fucking, like, of, like, the hot spots of, like, fucking, you know, biggest cities, most famous fucking, like, places in the world or whatever that people kind of flock to a lot. Um, and if some shit would pop off, I feel like it would maybe happen there. But at mm-hmm. the same time, too, there's other places that are, you know, like, I guess not strongholds, but, like, places that, you know, they have army bases and shit like that that could be, like, spots where, you know, they would target or, or something along those lines. So that's why I'm like, where the fuck would I go <laughs> to try to avoid those places? Yeah, and you know what? It's like, first, those two, because those are the shores, right? If, if they're going to invade, well, obviously they can come through Mexico or, like, like go through Canada, but like in a war strategic, like how I'm thinking of, like if they just wanted to, like they're like, hey, like we're just gonna go for U.S. Like we don't care about Canada, we don't care about Mexico, like they're too, or whatever, like um, we're gonna go for the U.S. only. Like just, let's just say, like they're gonna go for the U.S. only. Like you could only go through like the coasts, right? Unless you're like, fuck Canada, we're gonna go through Canada and we're gonna come down to the U.S. or like. Oh, we're gonna fucking spread our troops, and you know, one's gonna go through Canada, one's gonna go through Mexico, cause fuck them, like we can do it or whatever. Um, at that point, like if it was like an invasion from all sides or whatever, um, try to go for like Colorado, maybe. I guess in the middle, not really much. Colorado. There. Like not really much I've... there. Like mm-hmm. no point to like. And then like like if we were saying like, oh, they're gonna come from either the the east coast or the west coast um like yeah like Like you're in arizona or right next to cali so they might come through here but it's like i don't think we have like well at least where we're located at right now like i don't think we'll we'll probably be they'll probably be like oh like they're they're over there but we don't really have a big thing to be like they need to take over arizona because arizona has this shit and yeah like yeah, there are strongholds or something. Like, yeah. Like, fucking, but uh, I think I, I think that's what kind of helps us too, because we're a desert state. So yeah, so it's really it's like... no. I, I think to answer Stephen's question, I think I'd stay here because mm-hmm. I that's think awesome. here, here, like even during the day, it's so hot. It's so, and I don't think most of these, uh, like, say if like. Like, I, I don't think there's too many places, um, like, in other countries where it's really hot, like here. So it would kind of be like a situation, like in World War Two when Germany tried to invade Russia and they just could not deal with the cold. They were, like, so um, under... Um, they were not equipped to handle that type of cold. Yeah. I feel like it'll kind of be the same thing here, where it's like the heat is just so... It's not, it's not as hot as other places. I, I, you know, I, I get you. And, um, I still agree to live here, but I just have a rebuttal to that. Because it's like, yeah, back then, you know, obviously, everyone knows it now, what happened of, like with that. Like, wouldn't you think, like, they would be like, hmm, like, well, we're going to go through here. Like, we're going to need it. Like, just for some reason, like, we're going to need to, like, go through Arizona. So, like, we're going to have a section of our troops, right? Like, trained. Like be sent off or i don't know like how they would do it or like man, like manufacture a way to tolerate like, heat to tolerate or, like, to train their soldiers to talk like that's how I would, uh, I would be like all right so we're gonna go to this state like we gotta like you know it's not gonna be like our state like we have to like train our bodies to do it before we like because obviously back then they were just like yeah go through russia fuck the coal it's not gonna hurt us and then they're just like oh shit bro uh, my, my penis is frozen off like yeah we gotta go back I think they would be, like, you know. Well, I think at least now they would be like, we gotta train our troops to go through certain conditions, you know, because it's not like yeah. We're invading but you can't people. really train for heat. You can train for cold because you can just wear a jacket. You can just wear heavy. You can wear thermal uniform or something. But it's not true. for you heat, train. you can train because like for heat, how are you gonna train for heat? Yeah, you just you're just gonna wear. You he's just gonna show up with like shorts and a t-shirt and. Your gun? No, like, <laughs> like they're gonna put them through a simulate. Like how I'm thinking of is like simulations. Like you know they're gonna build a heater a room that's like the temperature. Of Do you realize how much time that would take? Because well, yeah, we're like, like us. Like, we've lived here. Made, like we like, we've lived here for a long time. Yeah, we're used to the heat, but 
that's because we've been here for years. What do you think a like, war is going to be? They're going to be like, all right, today's war, war day, lads. Let's just fucking go over there. Like, hell yeah. Like, no. Like, I, I don't think there's no some scary stories to war. Because this is like I mean, scary. A war, it's, it's scary. A war is not going to last 10 years. No, I think it would like, need to take you. Prior to that, you would be like, I'm not going yeah, to like, like, it's not like one day Russia wakes up and they're like, let's go. I mean, war Woo! Yeah, it's war tactics. Like, like they they, they got to like, train right, in like, some we way. We want to invade this. It's 2022, right? Like, how long is it? Like, how long does it take? Like, how long does it take to? And then they'll be like, all right, so we have to build this. Like, we'll invade in like 20 fucking seven, 2027 or some shit. Like, like obviously they have to plan it out. They can't just be like, oh yeah, like. Do you do you 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 played obviously Modern Warfare two, right? I think yeah. that's the most like. Or I don't know. I could be wrong. I'm stupid. But Russia, like those were it, Russian it's guys. Probably, it airport. probably is the closest thing to of how it could happen. You know, when the the EMP goes off and knocks out like our our communication infrastructure, so we Actually, can't really coordinate our our troops. Actually, and then they invade, and then they invade. I think that's how the most likely scenario that could happen is first you got to wipe out the that the communication infrastructure because you can't coordinate your defense you can't you have yeah. to rely on old school tactics to yeah. communicate with each other so you already knock out your your eyes and ears oh, yeah. per se I, I believe as well but i'm just um as in the specific category that he brought up was just like you know and first of all, like I don't think that would happen because we're a flux state, right? There's, there's there's a bunch of different states that have a bunch of different temperatures, so they could potentially plan around by going through like hotter states or whatever. But uh, like it'd be a little harder. But, um, you know what they say with their like desert? You know, it could be like during the day it's hot as fuck, but at night it gets cold, cold as shit. It's freezing yeah. cold, yeah. Yeah. So yeah, I think it'll be tough. I guess going through something like that if they did try to come through here. The only the only thing that I would say that maybe they would have I guess some sort of value in coming here was knocking out at like the because don't they have like Luke Air Force Base here? Mm -hmm. um, I guess maybe that's somewhat like valuable. I mean I mean it is valuable, you know. Like target the Air Force bases. And yeah, stuff? exactly. Like target um like an Air Force base potentially or something. But that's the only thing that I can really see um, in coming to here or targeting Arizona in some way. Um, other than that, I can't really see much. But yeah, I feel yeah. like they'd be like, take over that base, and then everyone would be like, yo, bro, I'm just trying to watch TikTok. Like, fucking take it. I don't care. <laughs> just um, take it. And then we'll be like, all right, cool. But I feel like we're kind of safe because if they were to try and they would have to take over the surrounding state, like California. Yeah, they would have if to they go come from before getting over. If they here, come right? from the east coast. They would have to take out all those states. So I feel like we would have some time to to coordinate our defense. Yeah, it, I mean, it would I mean, have. Kinda, like, the more likely would be, you know, them coming from the west, like from Cali. Uh -huh. uh, then yeah, it would be cause... from them coming from the east and working their whole way all the way over here. Um, but yeah, they would have to do that first, you know. Um... Yeah, um, that's. I mean, like, I agree with Eric. Like, obviously, like, you know, from that pre that context, like, I agree with Eric. I think that I staying here, I wouldn't really move. I don't think. Um, now, if I was like living in Massachusetts or New York or like a, a coast state, um, that should I'd be. be. I'd probably move somewhere in Colorado. I think they'd yeah. probably make you move. I think. I think if it came down to like, oh, we're under an imminent attack, I think they would do the whole like um emergency yeah. signals and stuff on TV and they tell you get get as far away from the coast as possible. I think they would force you to evacuate. I'll yeah, like like I would mm -hmm. move I'd probably go to Colorado and just be like it's Colorado man, like what are you gonna do? Shoot some deer? Like what the fuck? Like there's nothing here. Visit South Park? Yeah, like, visit South Colorado. Park. Like, oh, go yeah. live in South Park. Then I'll show him the fucking Episode. <laughs> oh god. Yeah. Russia or any other state. Not saying, not, not saying that Russia's gonna invade or anything, but like, you know, any other state that wants to invade, like, like South Yeah, Park. this is just, 
It's just this is just hypothetical. Yeah, yeah. Steven came up with this first story. Other, I, 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 I'm, I'm good. This now. is just hypothetical. Like, it's just something that I thought of. Like, you know, it's something kind of been on my mind recently with, no, you know, no, just no, world no. affairs and stuff. But, um, get him first. Yeah. I, 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 um, yeah, I'm, I'm good. You want some candy? Yeah. <laughs> no, just kidding, but, go for um, Jeffy first. He's the one that's yeah. Go for Jeffy. No, yeah, no, 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 no. Yeah, he so, canceled him, Steven, bro. Um, that is the end of the first round. Oh, yes, you did. You want to hear <laughs> anything about that? Or I know you've been quiet for a bit. You're probably playing Overwatch. Probably. No, no I'm not playing. But it... <laughs> no, I'm not on Overwatch anymore. No I'm a little tired. But uh, no. When it comes to like war stuff, I really don't like talking about that just because it. It's gonna make give me anxiety, so I'd just rather not just put my two cents into that. All right, you gave up one point. I'm just kidding. Um, all right, that concludes the first round. Um, so we're done. All right, two. thank you. All right, guys, thanks for joining us today on this episode of Two Years Tuesday. I'm just kidding. Points, you <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> um, How are you even scoring this? Yeah, I don't know. He didn't even tell us I'm, the criteria, so I did say, I just did say, point. I said, I said, I just so I already said it was gonna be biased I'm this time. The best story out of, and it's just the scariest or funniest story that I like. So, Steven, um, you start off really weak. I didn't really like. The story <laughs> topic, so I was gonna give you less points. Later, um, Steven. You're actually under Yesi, but, um. With that topic, I think that brought a lot of conversation out, and you know, it is something that can potentially happen. It's 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 close. It was a close one. Um, so, Yessi, you have seven point five points. Um, your funny, you had a funny, scary story. Um, it was. You would have had 8.5, but then you didn't pay attention, so I took a point away. Um, so uh, it was a good, funny story. It actually came out to be something real. We had a little sidebar on it. So it was cool. So I gave you 7.5. Eric, you went second. Um, I actually really loved your story. Um, even though it was only two sentences, you expanded on it. You put some personal stories onto it, um, some shit that you actually went through. Um and you were obviously fucking in the house in the dark telling the story. So I gave you nine points for that story. And the sidebars and the sidebar conversation. I still thought you were going to lose. Because I was like, that, that beginning one's like, eh, like four points. So I gave you four points initially. The ending of your of your story, the war stories, and you know the possibility of all that and having a sidebar make this conversation. I gave you ten points, so it was it was a close one. Fucking go! Yes, he sits in the shower. Yeah. I win. That was if you would have <laughs> said, I was like, ah, that's a good one pointer. Um, but yeah, I did like that sidebar. I I do actually like um, talking about that type of stuff because you know hypothetically it's whatever you know like, I mean it's possible, but it's fun to talk about. So um, you are the winner of this podcast. Let's you're fucking go. Congrats, mate. You're the fucking, you're the I say player. Eric wins just because that one was more. I was um, thinking. I was that was that one was that more one. like natural to me. Mine, it was just something. Mine wasn't even a story. It was just something that had been on my mind, I guess, and I wanted to bring up. Um, uh, that was right. the thing that I was originally gonna bring up. Um, Minus two points for not having a story. Eric, you win. Congratulations. You. <laughs> you oh, you, I, th- I wasn't <laughs> over until I, I do the intro out, and you just talked yourself out of two points. I'm like, oh, yeah, he didn't. Hey, no, you, you already, you locked it in. And every yeah, year, I, I think. I, 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 what do you mean? You can't take those very, back now. I don't like this this judge. I know. We got to switch him out. <laughs> so and then we got to Because, like, you've made the point I'm that it wasn't. Okay, you know what? I, 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 I'm, a man, I'm a man of my word. I'm a man of my word. I will, I will give you back those two points. And I will declare you the winner, even though Eric's story I think was a little more better. Exactly, I think Eric's because be too. only because you brought up the point that we didn't, you didn't actually tell the story. You were just like, "Hey, like war? <laughs> what do you guys think?" Hey, <laughs> I didn't just um, say war. I brought up points of the war. Yeah, you know? <laughs> where would you go? Like, what do you think it would be like? What the fuck would you do? Shit like that. So there was a little bit more depth to it, but mm. 
it, like I said, it wasn't a story. Uh -huh. It was just something I wanted, you to, bring me a question? Something I I wanted to bring up. Yeah, to reverse something I wanted to bring up. Well, that's move. scary. Well, I locked it in. It's too late. Boop! It's sent to the. It's sent to HR. There, they'll they'll send you guys an email later. Um, Steven, congratulations! You are the winner. Um, Let's go. Jeffrey doesn't know how to judge. Yeah, I, I don't know. Because of it. Well, I was the criteria like, of how how to add how points, I how to like minus it. points. I like it. I was just basing how I like the conversation and you know the story, but um, obviously you guys just like just thought of something real quick on the spot. So it's all good. I gave you a chance to look up some shit. And it was kind of hard to judge it by that, but it's all good. Um, fair. I think I judge it pretty fairly. I think you and Eric were, like, pretty damn close, so. And, yes, yeah, I'm sorry, but Mothman was, like, it was funny. <laughs> but then you, but then you. Just... I still think it's kind of creepy. It, yeah, it, it is creepy. But I still don't like yeah, that. Yeah, eat your clothes. Eat your clothes. Eat uh, your clothes. Your socks. Yeah, 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 right. holes in your socks. The I thing that creeped me out more about it was the fact that Eric had heard of it too somewhere else. I thought it was just something that uh, that's freaking, what that really yes, made it that yes, yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, it yeah. falls under like the oh, Cabra, um, the La Llorona. It falls under like all those you know spooky, scary things. It's, it's, yeah, that's, ooh, that's why I gave like, you a lot of kind of like that. Because it was like a short story, it was a personal story. You went first, so I gave you a lot of points for that. I just didn't find like I was like the. This is not a Mex a Mexico thing. It's also and, in the, and then I didn't America. know it was a real thing. I thought you were just like, <laughs> I'm gonna say the Mothman, and they're gonna fucking believe me. So once Eric said it, I gave you a little more points for. That. I'm surprised you guys have never heard of it. Of yeah, that, I've never heard of, heard of the, that. The, the urban legends that are around here. Yeah. I know one of them is like the. I know you guys have heard of the Chupacabra. There's the uh, Mothman. There's Bigfoot. There's. Yeah, um, you probably get those things. Yeah, there's Wendigos. There's Skinwalkers. There's. I've heard of Skinwalkers. Um, I don't think I've heard of. I heard the Skinwalkers. Uh, yeah, they're pretty pretty wild, bro. What? What is this? What, the uh, hell? what do you mean? Is that like? You know what they are, I guess. Like. Or is it just a myth or something or like a story? Well, to I think it's a native uh, Native American thing because I remember I had a friend who would talk about them and he, I mean, they believe in that. They believe in like a creature that mimics people. Mm. And um, I think that's what it is. In order for it to mimic, it has to kill whatever it mimics. Mm. So um, that's what a skinwalker is. Um, but, um, I remember I used to always scare Jeffrey when he would drive down Christian's road. Oh, God. <laughs> that would be Jeffrey, would be like, a little skim, a skim walker out there. Yeah, I would always, I would always never like going down that road. It was so <laughs> weird because it was just a bunch of fucking fields. Yeah, before like, it used to, yeah. Right there, and I was like, fuck that, dude. And I remember Christian... What, 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 I can't remember what the fuck happened, but I remember one day we were just, like, off in the distance, when you go down that road going towards Christian Street, and mm. there's, like, a dead end, kind of, or, like, a blocked off kind of part to it, but if you keep going, there's more, like, dirt out that way. Mm. Um, I, I remember one day we were driving, and we, or something like that, and we saw some people, like, going out that way, and we were like, what the fuck, like, why are people, you know, like going out there? It's just weird. It's just a whole fucking like creepy ass area. Um, that I don't know. It's just weird. It was wild. Wild. I hate that road too. But all right, guys. Well, that was awesome. Thank you for participating in my last minute put together thing. And Steven, since you want to stream, stream podcast. You're our next host for next week. Woo! Yeah. Uh, have I, a whole week. I should have let Yessie win. You should have let Eric no, win, but it's all right. I was going to let him win in the beginning. That was my bias because I wanted him to fucking host, but it's not. Nah, hey, no, 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 no. You can't go away from your bias. Like, like yeah, hey, come on, man. That's a K-pop thing. That, you should have said that. You should have should have said that But when I was assigning the point, when I was changing the points. It's nah, now locked nah. in. It's already sent to HR. I already got the email about it, so you guys, it's, it's too late. But... um. Yeah, it was awesome. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Yesenia, for joining us. I hope you had fun. Oh, you never see me again. Thank you. All right. I guess.
guess one day. Uh, and I guess uh, that's well, it. I'm saying thank you for joining us. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> 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 All right. Well, thank you for sending it. I, I appreciate you coming on and talking with us. It was a great little talk. Um, Steven and Eric, thank you for coming and talking with little old me. And all right, well, I think that's the end of the podcast. Um, please check out uh, Eric's handle. I'm gonna put it uh, his Instagram handle. I'm gonna put it on the di- in the description. Check out Blessed Senpai's channel, or AKA Stevens. I will also put his channel in the description. Please check him out. Um, they're cool. They're cool little dudes over there doing 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 little do cool things. All right. Well, if y'all want to say goodbye, we'll go ahead and wrap it up. All right. See ya. Appreciate y'all for listening. Yeah. Well, uh, you'll hear from us uh, next week, hopefully. Yep. If our yep. lovely co-host re- uh, wants to record. Yep. Yes, sir. All right. Later. <laughs>